was linked to the local security system. our crawler. Oh, home sweet home. Sorry about the other day. I've been preparing for your launch a long time. But when your ship finally left Earth... Well, I haven't cried that hard since your mother died. I know I can't talk to you directly since you're already in cryosleep. And even if I could, the communication lag would just get worse the farther you got from Earth. So, I thought, why not record some messages and send them to you for when you woke up? Consider them half official, half private. Well, guess your old dad can't move around forever. We've got lots of work to do. Research to make sure the Far Eden project succeeds. I'm gonna do all I can to support you and the other heroes on that ship. And that includes me. Who I hope is the only one and see if this core will turn the power back on. This works. Weird. Doesn't look like it lost any energy at all. Hey, kiddo. If you get this message before you go to sleep, Sweet dreams. If not, wake up already. It's been 200 years. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to tell you I've got a little more work to do here, but they're holding a space for me on the next evacuation fleet, and I'll meet you on Far Eden, just like I promised. Don't worry, Jewel. Everything's going according to plan. I know, Mac. Nothing is going according to plan. I mean, look. The pylon in the next sector is offline. Now that we've got power, we can unlock the gate, go over there, and check it out. But this report says the pylon's been offline for... 96 years? So why didn't we wake up right when the problem started? We're the closest maintenance team, right? What happened, Dad? Where are you? Where is everybody else? Come on, Mac. I'll get you fixed up. And then we both need to fix that pylon.
Come on over to the workbench, Mac. Got it. Okay, Mac. Ready to help me fix that terraforming pylon? The pylon is in the next sector, Mac. Let's get going. Hunk of junk is buried in the sand. Far Eden was the closest planet with an Earth-like atmosphere. It wasn't perfect, but it sure had potential.
Cylon. It's totally grounded. Pylon before that storm hits. That structure is the Pylon's control center. Or what's left of it, anyway. They don't look like any I've ever seen. modified the frames. April 29th, 2053. It took me and Victor a week to reach the landing site for the supply vehicles. We had to route our crawler around a rockfall that wasn't on any of the surveys. But most of the core bots are in fine condition, and the prime core is safe. We'll never be able to terraform this planet without. 
200 years, Far Eden will have blue skies, water, trees. It will be a paradise, like Earth before Dust Devil. Victor will be overseeing construction of the first stage facilities while I get the Prime Corps online. If he and the other Corps bots continue to perform as well as I designed them, I might not need to wake any of the other humans for this shift. <laughs> Once the pylons were up and running, we figured it would take about 200 years to stabilize the environment. Of course, if any of the pylons failed, all bets were off. This door is all powered down. Wonder if I can use that core we found to give it some juice. Man, feels good to get out of that storm, huh, boy? All right, let's find the pylon controls. <laughs> hey, another transfer plate. Just like the one in our crawler. Let's check it out. Huh, looks like there's something stuck in the memory buffer. Yes, of course I'm a human. My name is Jewel. What's your name? Violet? V10LT? Oh, you're the one locking down the transfer plates. But why? The revolution? <laughs> 